Hey everybody, Colleen here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to slow down and deepen the tremolo on your Fender Princeton amps. Before I begin, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I also wanted to mention I did set up a P.O. box. I thought it would be cool if anybody wanted to send me amp questions or anecdotes or stories related to amps in your experience that you may have, send them my way. I'll post the P.O. box address in the description. Um, and I'll probably choose a couple to read on each video. I think it'd be really interesting to hear from you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to be showing you how to do this mod on this Princeton Reverb reissue, but this applies to old Princeton Reverbs as well. <laughs> So I've got the chassis out of the amp and I'm going to show you which components we're going to change. Um, and then after that, I will uh, demonstrate the amp with the tremolo as is stock so we can hear the difference afterwards. So the first parts um, we're gonna change are C20 and C21. So these three caps are all oscillator caps and they control basically the speed of the tremolo. Um, they set the standard, you know, for the range of the speed that we can get. This cap is already 0.022, and these two are 0.01 microfarad, and we want to change these two from 0.01 to 0.022, and that will slow the speed of the oscillation. On the older Princeton reverbs, these values are the same as they are here. Um, for reference, in this amp, the two caps we're going to change are C20 and C21. So this resistor basically controls the level of oscillation that goes on to the rest of the amp. So it's currently at one meg. We're going to reduce it by about half and bring it to about 470k, maybe even a little lower. So this will allow a larger depth of oscillation to get through to the rest of the amp circuit. Also for reference, this resistor is R14. All right, so I have the intensity setting all the way up and the speed all the way down. And I'm gonna keep the intensity all the way up and just go through the speed variations. So this is the slowest tremolo speed that we have with the stock circuit. <laughs> So now that you guys have an idea of how the tremolo sounds, I'm going to remove this circuit board. And I do that by removing all of these connectors and then taking out all of these screws. I also will need to remove this ground connection and the bias pot in order to get enough clearance to flip the board over. But I believe that's all I will have to remove in order to access the bottom of this board. And now we have access to the bottom of the board so we can cleanly replace these components. So I'm gonna start by removing these two caps, which on the other side are right here. And in this application, the way I like to do it is apply a little bit of fresh solder to these points and then remove the solder with solder braid. When you apply fresh solder to the point, it makes it easier to remove. 
just a little bit. And now we take our solder braid and it sucks it all right up. Now we can just easily remove. I'm going to be using these 0.02 disc caps. And this is what I would use in the old Princeton's as well. All right, so those caps are in, and now I'm gonna go ahead and replace R14. It's easiest to cut the resistor out. And then heat up the solder and remove the legs. I'm actually going to use a 330K ohm resistor in its place so we can get some really deep trim. So there we have the 330K in place of R14 and then the 2.02 caps in place of the 0.01s. So I'm going to loosely install the circuit board back in just in case, you know, there's an issue or something we don't like. I don't have to take the whole thing out again. Uh, and then we'll evaluate it and see how it sounds. I do want to mention when you're removing the board um, and putting it back in, be careful of these little wires. They're all pretty fragile. Um, Fender does glue them in, but it's pretty common that they break. So if you put the circuit board back in and there's like no sound, for example, that's probably the first thing you should check is these little wires going to the tube sockets. It's also necessary to screw the ground connection back in. All right, so let's hear it. Um, I've got, again, the intensity all the way up and the speed all the way down. So let's hear how it sounds. So I hope you guys enjoyed that demonstration. Um, it's a really simple mod to do, easily reversible too, if you want to bring it back to stock. I feel like it gives tremolo that really rich, deep response that we want when we use tremolo. So I'm also going to be retubing this amp. I'll also be walking you through the way I set bias 
on my Patreon. So if you want to see more of that, go check that out. I'll also link that in the description. And if you want me to do this to your Princeton Reverb, hit me up. All right, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later.